we expected a very transparent election. We expected election with human fees. We expected election that is full of uh, remorsefulness, given our past records of election that we had in this country. Above all, we thought that the president and the commander in chief that have made several promises to this country, that he wants to leave a legacy of free and fair election. What we saw in AKT is the president chewing back his promise. What we saw in AKT was the worst in the history of elections in Nigeria. We thought the last election that we saw in Kogi and Bayelsa states was a mistake. Uh, but seeing the president within a short period of time celebrating his party, celebrating his party for winning AKT states was quite embarrassing to the country. We thought the president and commander in chief, who is the leader of the country, who is the number one citizen of the country, and given so many promises he had made to Nigerians, he will ensure that free and fair election is being conducted in the Kitty States. But we saw a president who was saying that he wants to leave one of his legacy is to win a Kitty State, which means the president have compromised the process already. Number two, the ground is shifting. From the videos, from the pictures that were available to virtually everybody, including the media men that are here, including the NGOs and international communities, was an election that was readied by vote buying. The danger is that the next election that is coming, majority of the people would not bother to campaign, to do anything. They will concentrate on looting public treasury, that is for public officials, or those who have other criminal ways of getting money and stock their money and just wait for election day. They will not bother about the process. They will just buy voters. And there's no great danger to our democracy than what we saw in the kitty. We thought this kind of carnage, this kind of height of unpatriotism would have come down but it's going higher and higher, simply because there is no deterrence. This government has no created deterrence for those that are buying votes. And the president should know, and it is a record, that throughout his tenure, he has been conducting the worst election ever in the history of Nigeria. And that record will certainly go down with him.